Okay, we're gonna taste a wine. Many of you will know that have already watched these videos that I'm not very good at pronouncing things, but this one I can pronounce. As a Londoner, I can pronounce it. It's called the Gavna. It's the Gavna VIP. Um, it's a, a wine market in the UK under the Majestic uh, Retail Train. And it takes, uh, I'm gonna let John pronounce one of these areas, but it takes uh, grapes from the Taurus region of Spain, uh, the Rioja region of Spain, and the... Arribera del Duero. That's him. So it, they take all of the best of those regions, and it's very unusual for those to be mixed, actually, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Normally yeah. they're very, you know, they, you can't do that, but these guys have done that, um, and produced this. Now, they do have another uh, wine called uh, the, the Governor, but not the Governor VIP, and this one actually just extends a little bit uh, the, the work they've done there, um, and we'll see if it's worth it. Now, I believe, I'm just trying to remember what the uh, the, the price was, it says. 11, uh, 11.99. 11.99. 9.99 in some places, 11.99 in others. Oh, so this is, yeah, if you buy six, you get it for 9.99, and, yep. and yeah, okay. Okay, should we have a look at the colour? Oh, yeah, let's do it. Now, I bought this one uh, because I know that John loves his Rioja. He does love his Rioja. He loves his Spanish wine. So I thought that, you know, we should, you know, I have to keep some of those. I have to keep him happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do, yeah. Okay, so it's very deep, deep burgundy, is this, isn't it? It is, yeah. Very deep burgundy. Would you say burgundy or would you say uh, Bordeaux? I'm going to sit with burgundy, but we'll go, yeah, it's got... It looks good. It's, there's a richness and weightiness there, which is appealing. Yes, it is. It's, mm. it's yeah. Well, it's it's quite purple. dense, isn't it, in terms of the colour? I see a bit of purple in yours. I just when you. Oh, I when haven't you, noticed that. Yeah. When you when you um just. Yeah. I, I trust we're talking about the wine. <laughs> oh dear me. Yes, we're talking about the wine, John. Purple <laughs> <laughs> now, crikey. Okay, let's have a go, Australian us. Okay. Oh, that says a lot, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Oh, that's very interesting. It's not what I expected, to be fair. It's not a Rioja, is it? And it's not... Well, actually, I'm not quite sure what it is, but... Well, everything you described, as you were saying, uh, with there, the Ribera do Duero, all the, those um, grapes and um, areas, I was expecting something very different. But... You mean you can smell the oak there, can't you? Yeah, you can... But it's, 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 it's not the leather there, but... It has that, like, black... Yes, like a black cherry. There's a black cherry in there, but there's there's something yeah. else in there that is um. Oh, yeah, it's, it's got a little bit of a, just a just a tinge, just a hint of forest floor to it. And yeah, I'll give you that. That's that, that comes down to the But I think I think what it is is coffee. There's a coffee. Yeah. Creamy coffee. Yeah, coffee de creme, creme de coffee. <laughs> Either way, Either that's way. what. I, that's like a creamy has. coffee. Yeah. A little bit of coffee cream in. Or is that the... I don't know, but it's, that's, that smells delicious. And I'm, I'm going to get straight in there. Okay, so am I. Mmm. 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 It doesn't taste anything like I expected it to. No. After everything you told me that was in there, again, I was expecting X, Y, and Z. No. That, yeah, I'm not quite sure. I'm, I think that I'm sort of going through this thing now where I'm, my mind's sort of conflicted because it's, it's going, well, that's not what you should be tasting. Surely that's not what you should be tasting. And, and so I'm not really getting to what I am tasting. Well, I'm tasting a kind of chocolatey richness. Mm -hmm. That black cherries come through just as I want it to. Black also, that, yeah, that, the, the coffee that I could smell, like, again, I'm going to say, but if you get it on the nose, and you get it on the palate, it's a done deal. It's a good thing. And I've got nearly everything I had on the nose has come through on the palate there for me. And then not not even thinking about you know, where we've gone from there, but the, the, you know, those flavors then coming in to address the tannins. Tannins are just so soft and per perfect. And then the flavor afterwards just stays in there. I think that's where the, the subtleties of the first flavors we got then are hanging around at the back, so it doesn't change per se. You're just getting a, a more subtle version of, of, of the first um, taste, yeah. That's really good. Do you get raisin at all? I think there's a sweetness there, which I'm related to the chocolate. Mm -hmm. 
which may come, which which I, I can associate with the raisin, but I'm not getting raisin in, in my face. I'm getting it afterwards, you know, when after in the aftertaste, mm. after I've swallowed it, I'm just get to, I think it could just be, as you say, the sweetness. Mm. I think but, it's the sweet, and, and there's quite an intensity there. Okay, what's Eleven ninety nine or nine ninety seven. It's a good bit of wine, isn't it, John? Good bit it is, of wine. I think that's that's. I mean, it is excellent value. You know, I mean, mm. uh, going back to my three ninety nine bottle, even even you know this obviously you know is a class above that, and mm. um, this you could really just enjoy sip by sip, couldn't you? You don't you know you don't have to mm. hurry this, which we are. Yeah, and I mean, I'm, as as we're filming and, and discussing, I'm actually looking at the bottle which is on the table in front of me. I'm thinking. It's it's a pretty good looking bottle as well. Not that it comes into the flavour or anything, They'll but... they just come up here. Oh, there, oh. Yeah, see? That is style, class, I would say. Um, so yeah, it um, goes all around it, right? So, um, uh, matching, and again, oh, I've, been, yeah. I've, I've been too engrossed in the flavour of this yeah. to actually think about what would uh, match it with, but um, let me think on my... Ooh, you well, know I'm, what? I'm going to say uh, this. We had a wine uh, a couple of months ago where I, I actually sort of struggled. I just can't think. I just want to drink I, like this. I just want to drink this on its own. I'm going to struggle in a minute to find something, but I really would just like to drink this on its own. I get you. I get you 100. percent And it's like, what what could possibly? Sometimes it, it doesn't. Something doesn't need improving on. And this, as you say, it, it, it's deliciousness has got a lot going on for it. Again, that price, the flavour, the style. And it's not often I will mention how good a bottle looks, but they've got it down to a tea there. Excellent magazine. So, but going back to the cheese with this, I am gonna recommend, and this is something I wouldn't usually recommend with wine or um, something which doesn't often get recommended full song, but I'm gonna go back to good old days and we're gonna have a cheddar with this. Regardless of, I know this is Spanish origins, but I would say a good cheddar. Lincoln Chipotle, Particularly, I'm thinking about in my mind how the the kind of almost waxy texture of it of the Lincoln Chipotle. I say waxy, but it suits it, and then the actual power of flavour of that. I think those will go together very, very well. Well, I going back to uh, you know where it grows, it goes. I, I'm thinking of Spanish tapas with this, yeah. and I'm thinking particularly of sort of chunks of the ham on you know the the very sort of tasty uh, little bits of ham that they have, mm. you know the sort. Of Ah, oh, I think that and this, and just little chunks of that with this would be fine. If you're having a meal and you want to know what you could uh, have this with, I think that you could you could go with uh, lamb. Uh, you you could go certain cert certainly with beef. Um, but you know, I th I would prefer to just have this uh, mid afternoon or late evening uh, with just some chunks of that ham mm -hmm. um, and some uh, some little bits of cheddar. It sounds like a delight, John. When am I coming round? Yeah, well, let's do that. Let's, <laughs> raid, the, <laughs> let's raid the fridge. Oh, we're good. Okay, so scores. Okay, score. Mm. So remi remind me the price. The price is uh, nine ninety nine to eleven ninety nine, depending on. Okay, so if you buy six, uh, it's nine ninety nine. So I'm gonna I'm gonna base this on 9.99 on the basis that okay. if you're you know ordering you'd probably get six of different types okay i was didn't know what to expect well i had an idea in my mind what it would be it wasn't that it surprised me um i'm gonna give it a healthy score of um there we go okay yep uh, i'm gonna say 87 very close john 88 okay very 80, close yeah. yeah but i really i really did enjoy that yeah, I'm going I, to carry on enjoying it. Yeah, absolutely. We, I think we will certainly finish this bottle uh, after we finish filming. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Well, guys, um, well done. Uh, whoever was responsible for, for blending this um, done a fantastic job. Uh, brilliant job. Well done indeed. Uh, if you guys um, have picked this up, uh, then try it. Give us a comment. Let us know what you think. T totally entitled to disagree, of course. Um, and let us know where you're, where you're watching this from. And let us know any wines you believe that we should be given a try. Anything any of you can remain, we'll be pleased to, to take a look. Mm -hmm. So I think that's about it, John. Huh? Until Since the next one. Yeah, Until well, the next one, John. I think we need to get off and drink the rest of this bottle. I'm with you. I concur. Okay. Chin-chin. Chin-chin. Ciao.